Hi folks, welcome to Dickie's tutorial. I sculpted a head in ZBrush and a rough hair mesh. I have a video showcase the process of sculpting this head. Feel free to watch it if you are interested. In this video, I will use Unreal Engine newest version 5.5 to show you how to apply meta human head and material to your own 3D head. The software I will use are Crystal Bridge, Maya 2025, ZBrush 2025, ZRap, and Unreal Engine 5.5. In description, I attach the download link for Crystal Bridge and ZRap. Okay, let's start it. So this is my Unreal Engine 5.5. Let's grab a meta human head. Open window, go to Crystal Bridge, open it. Trigger my window and then go to this human head icon and then it says meta human presets. There are many heads. I think Natalia looks nice, so I download Natalia. Later I will apply Natalia's material for my head. Click add. The bridge will put Natalia in our Unreal Engine project. Okay, I'm gonna close my bridge window. So bridge gave us this meta humans folder. Double click and you will see one folder called comment. Another folder is Natalia. So double click this Natalia. Here is a blueprint of Natalia. Double click this and open it. Okay, it takes a little bit of time. So now go to viewport. So this is the Natalia. What I, what I need is her head. So click her head, now bigger my window, and you see in the right panel, there is a section called materials, and there are many materials like her head material, teeth, and then eyes, eyebrow, eyelash, something like that. And then there is a material called head baked. So click this browser, I can locate to her head material. So later, I gonna apply this material for my 3D head. Now go to Crystal Bridge website. Click this download bridge. You can download the software. So this is my Crystal Bridge, and then click Meta Humans. Meta Human Presets Unreal Engine 5. And I see the Natalia is here. I click this. There is a little icon. Click this. It says Download Settings, Explore Settings. So let's click Download Settings first. And then go to Model. Make sure Meta Humans, I have U Access and Source Access. I don't need 3D plants, so I just gonna click this off. And I also gonna click off LOD 78654. And I think I will keep LOD 0123. Now go back, click this icon again, and then click this export settings. The export target is Maya. After you select Maya, if you install the plugin, so make sure your plugin is installed successfully. Next, go to models. Make sure the preset is Maya. Meta Human is USS and Source SS. LODs, I have LOD 0. And maybe I will choose LOD 1 and 2. I'm going to click off 4 and 6 because I don't need this. 
and then go back. Click this download button. It will download the assets. After your download is done, click export. It tells you export to Maya, export it successfully. If the bridge tells you fail to export to Maya, you might need to check if you install the plugin successfully. If it still fails to export, maybe you can try uninstall the plugin and then reinstall it. When I click export, I have my Maya opening at the same time. Now I go to Maya. It asks me, are you sure you want to import the meta human characters? I click yes. And the bridge will import the meta human head. It's gonna take a while to import the meta human. So just wait for it. After the import is done, it is the meta human Natalia. What I need is her head. Right now, I am looking at head LOD0. So I'm going to export this head and import this head into ZBrush. So this is my 3D head that I sculpt. And I also import the Meta Human Natalia head. So currently, her head is laying down on the floor. So what I will do is I will rotate Natalia head. Okay, let me hide the hair and all other stuff. I'm gonna move Natalia head forward and, and kind of match the position of my head. So I'm gonna wrap Natalia head to my 3D head. Before I use Z-Wrap to wrap the head, I want to explain why I need to wrap MetaHuman head to my head. Select the MetaHuman head and let's open the UV editor. So MetaHuman head, UV is like this. And my head, the UV is different. Because I need to use MetaHuman's material in Unreal Engine. So I need to make sure their heads, they have the same UV. So that is why I'm going to use Z-Wrap to wrap MetaHuman head to my head. So that my head will have the same UV as MetaHuman head. Okay. All right. I assume you already understand. So let's go back to ZBrush. I put Meta Human Head Natalia on the top, and my head is below that head. I already download ZRap and installed in my ZBrush. Open Z plugin. There is my ZRap. Click Start ZRap. Just wait for the window pop up. So this is the Z wrap. The left head is Meta Human Natalia. The right head is my head. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click a bunch of red dots on Meta Human Natalia and then click the dots on my head. So the head view wrap to my head based on the point I put. This process is a little bit boring, so I'm gonna speed up the video of this part.
Okay, I just put a lot of points. So now I choose wrapping and then click cartoon wrapping. Now the meta human head will wrap to my head. Make sure your point is one by one, otherwise the wrapping will go wrong. Okay, so the wrapping is done. And then this is the new head I got. This head has the same UV as Meta Human Natalia. Okay, so I put my new head into Maya. This is Meta Human head. The UV is like this. This head is the head before I use the Z-Wrap. And this is the new head. So, yep, they have the same UV now. I put my 3D head, the hair, and the eyeball in Maya. So I'm just going to directly grab her eyeballs. Unlock the transform. And then I'm going to delete the history. Move out her eyeball. Unhide my mesh. And then place the eyeball into my eye socket. I'm going to match her eyes by location to my eyes. Then I'm gonna hide my old mesh and make sure the eyeball position are correct. Then I'm gonna use mesh displays, softer edge for all my mesh. I also gave them different material. So I gave the hair mesh its hair material and then the head mesh a head material. Eyebrow and eyelash I gave one material and the eyeball I grabbed from Meta Human they already have material. So now I can export this head as FBX file and then import them into our real engine. Or you can select all the meshes and then combine them into one mesh and then export this mesh. Because my mesh is a static mesh, so right here, I'm gonna choose static mesh and then click import. So this is my head static mesh. I'm just gonna drag it into the scenes. Press F, I can see it closer. So now go to Natalia open up her blueprint find her head material and i'm gonna directly drag this material on my mesh now you see because they have the same uv so 
my head directly have metahumans Natalia's material. Okay, let me adjust the light. And I also gonna apply, I also gonna grab her eyes material and then just pull it on her eyeball. So now I have Meta Human's head material on my head. And also, I have Meta Human's eyeball material. Click Save All. I'm gonna close up these windows. And then I click this lead, choose Path Tracing. Right now, you see the mesh are looking wrong. So find out my head mesh. Right click. Disable this. And now you see the head is correct. All right, hopefully this video is helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.